Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where I think we have made a very nice start and a very expandable start to our aquarium and today we, we've unlocked Belfast tanks, we've got a few different fish now that uh, might be quite nice to pop into a tank, we've got this like little, little dude over here on his own so people will probably be like why is he on his own? Let's see if anyone thinks that tank is rubbish. No, they don't actually. They're all right with that tank apparently, but it would be good if it was full of other things to get us more prestige. I'm not losing any prestige because that tank is there, but it's not really attracting people the same way as it might do. So, why don't we have a look at the fish? Um, I've slept since the last time I played, so I need to have a quick look at what we have got in and what we don't have in and all that sort of thing. Do we have anything? So these are cold water. We didn't have a blue knuckle hermit crab because I accidentally sold it. So we need to find somewhere that they can go in. And the cuckoo wrasse, that's the only ones, okay. I guess we're waiting for these banner fish, these shoaling banner fish things that I'm researching at the moment, put them in. I think they'll go with the, the that guy, definitely. Okay, so blue knuckle hermit crab, let's find a place for you. Do these guys eat crustaceans? No, they do not. Is there room in this tank? Yes, there is loads of room in this tank, so I'll stick a little couple of hermit crabs in there. Just no starfish in there. So we can have corals, we can have lots of big fish, all the good stuff. Um, and the next thing I think I want to do then is to research if I haven't right once we research the Belfast tanks I'll let it play for a little bit and then I'm going to because I've just opened this bit out so we're getting more and more people going up to that bit and seeing these new tanks with the lionfish in it and with the, uh, the dotty bag in it hmm there's some some struggles down here with them actually looking at the uh, the tanks so I imagine this section will be fine eventually once more stuff is going on up here but I think it possibly the aquarium is slightly too wide I'm not sure well, we've got 100% up at these two it's just taking them a while to get around I guess Yay, schooling banifish! Fantastic. Poor beauty is another wimp. Humpback snapper will eat fish. This is the problem, you tend to have either wimps or ones that won't, will eat other fish. It's like, meh. I'll get a couple more cold water things, like uh, a pollock maybe. And then maybe a starfish. And we'll make a cold water tank. And what I want to do is ah perfect, very perfect. Get the uh, get a new Belfast tank in, I reckon. Right, so we got these new banner fish. So let's see if we can pop those in here. Schooling banner fish. They need thirty space. They should have plenty of space in there. They are five. We need six of them though. Seem quite happy to be in there, actually. Is longhorn cowfish happy enough? Yes. Anything that we've recently changed, I need to check that they're happy. Right, so we need a couple of bits in here, plant-wise, which is fine. I like to have a couple of plants in places. Some feather calupa, maybe. And then maybe a bit of decoration. Ooh, we are ranked up. Just as I happen to have researched all of the fish. Yay, so we've got some more things that we can research. That angelfish that never seems to go anywhere either. Maybe the angelfish can go in this time with the um, schooling banner fish and stuff. It might go in there as long as it doesn't eat other fish. It could go in with the smaller fish and it would probably be a bit easier for it then. 
That always seems to be a problem, that particular fish. We now have pirate chests and ancient gates and pitted columns and pirate cove paint. Very nice. Oh, and a quiesel tank. Those are very, very cool. Could put the quiesel tank in the middle as well. Oh, Pollock is done already. Nice. It's getting quicker now. I'm going to do the starfish next. I want to get a nice range of cold water fish before I put this cold water tank in. And then we've got like a little... Um, I think we've got a couple of things here. Look. Ooh. So we've got... Uh, all of the panther groupers and longhorn cowfish have grown. That's fine. Can now eat tank mates up to size 3. That is fine, I think. Oh, no. Please. Oh, hang on, no. That guy's over there. Yeah, they're on their own. That's fine. Okay, because I think I was considering putting him in with them, but then they weren't happy anyway, because they're wimps. So they're wimps that eat stuff. I'm a wimp, but, but you're a bully, but I'll still eat you. How weird. Anyway. This is good. This is a ni way nicer tank now with these guys in it. I think it's much, much better. So let's start on this cold water tank then. So I'm going to make a Belfast tank this time. Oh no, I was looking for my emails, wasn't I? Sorry. Got a little distracted there. So... A Paulette shark. If I can get a fully grown cuckoo ass, I can trade it in for the Paulette shark and have that in my cold water, I imagine. No, it's a warm water shark. Ooh. Needs. We'll eat crustaceans. Gross is 16. Oh, I could go in many of my warm water tanks, I imagine. But that would be pretty cool to have him. We ha um, have a unicorn surgeon fish observation. So if I put some unicorn surgeon fish in, I'll get 3,000 and then 3,000 after. Nice. Yeah, I'll gladly help you with your study. I'll probably put those in at some point anyway. But are we researching those yet? Have we got them to research? I can research them next. Okay, that's fine. Now I have my nice big Belfast tanks. I'd like to make it... Uh, keep it this size, actually. For the first ones I put in. And they're going to be more towards the centre of the aquarium to pull people through and in. You see the range of, uh, of pull it has, which is pretty cool. It won't go in the middle though, because look, it is... Well, I can always make it slightly bigger, but, you know, it doesn't quite fit in the middle there. Okay, so the first thing I need to do before I make this then is to expand the aquarium... In all directions. May as well, actually. We've got the money to do it as well. I've not been short on money this whole time. Oh, come on. This is silly now. Why doesn't the minus button work? Right. Then I need my walls. With possibly a staff door maybe up towards the end here. So you need the odd staff door just for if they need to get in and fix anything. Like they really desperately seem to need to do over there. But he's 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 on it though, you know. Absolutely on it. And the bigger the filter the more work it does without having, you know, with only one thing to fix as well. So, like, definitely upgrading the filters all the time is a good idea. Having them daisy chained is a good idea. When I put in a cold water section, that will be the end of the daisy chaining on this side. 
for the warm water tanks. So we'll have to have like these three tanks or something done, unless I keep moving the cold water over. But that could be a bit of a pain as well. So mm, don't know. If I only have one or two cold water tanks, then mm, might move them all the time to the very end of the aquarium. And then have warm water all the rest of the way. Would make sense. All right, so I've got this Belfast tank I want to put in. What I want to do is have it kind of more towards the middle. As you can see, it really does pull people in. About, about there, I think, would be fine. And then I want one on the other side to be symmetrical with it. And when I get these tunnel tanks, I'm going to start putting some of those in as well. That's going to be really cool. Having a Belfast tank to either side really does pull people through. Then I'm going to do some walls. One of these guys will continue to be warm water. And the other of them will be cold water. These probably won't be used straight away, but they will be uh, utilised as the place grows. Now, I think I might even need a staff door or two. I mean, mostly the staff are behind the doors, but I might need one around here, I think. Let me just get rid of the wall there. More toilets might be needed as well. Let's do that. I'll have a staff door and a toilet. And that's the thing, because I didn't have pumps everywhere, it's very easy to install toilets where I need them. Which is quite good. Oh, I always forget which bit the staff door is in. Then a little bit more a little bit more paint on the walls. Continuing with our shipwreck theme. For now anyway. Might change later. Okay, next I want to see what I want to put in this uh, thing. I want a uh, anything cold water, basically. I want starfish if I can. Atlantic pollock. You don't eat anything. Fish with size 3 or less. Cuckoo wrasse, which is 5 to 11. All the equestations with size 2 or less. Nothing eats starfish. Starfish, I think, are cold water. They're being... All right, okay, they're being done at the moment. Cool. So we've got some nice big fish that we can put in there. Um, and we've got quite a nice big tank. How big is the tank? 90. Right, that's not too bad. So I can get eight cuckoo wrasses in, or about four or five Atlantic Pollocks. So how about we do two of each for now? Oh, one of my cuckoo wrasses is going to have to be... Once it's fully grown, it's going to have 16 plus 16 is 32. 43, 54, 65. Just trying to calculate what they'll be when they're fully grown. Okay, so, a little bit of decoration for you guys then. Some rocks you want, apparently. Oh yeah, cold water fish only seem to want rocks. It's very boring. You can have some rubble at the back there. And then, uh, I don't think we've got room for a pitted column or anything, so, have we got room for a rocky overhang for you? No. No. Okay. You're going to have to be very boring and just have, like, 
lots of rocks and stuff. Okay, so now they just need their filtration uh, and their food. So first things first, I'll give them their... I wish I could go round corners with the uh, with the steps, but I can't unless I put another platform in, so... I just have to be like that. I mean, I could put a double platform in. And, like, double stairs for these ones. Most of the stuff is going to be placed behind, so it's going to be sand eels and cockles. So they've got everything they need there, except for their filter system. So let's pop that in the filter space behind them. Love having my filter spaces and stuff. I love being able to just cut loose with it, honestly. Not be told what I have to do. It's so good. It's part, it's half the reason I'm a YouTuber is that I don't get told what I have to do. I get told, I get asked what I, you know, what I might want to do or, you know, suggestions. That's fine. I'm never told you have to do this or you have to do that. And that's quite a nice thing about being a, a YouTuber. There's many, many horrible things about being a YouTuber. But that's one of the really, really nice ones. Right, so we need a chiller. Uh, that does 40 out of 90. So I'm going to need three. And the biggest filter I can find. Okay, that was apparently enough. Great. But we need... Oh, nine hidey hole. Rats. I need to change that for a pitted column then. That has 12 hidey hole. And nine... Yeah, that's perfect. That works fine. Want some other decorations though, like a pirate chest or an anchor or something like that, maybe. Pirate chest over there. Pirate chest over there. A couple of shells, maybe. Otherwise, it just looks really boring. I think that's a bit better. I could put some kelp at the back as well. There, that's quite nice. That's quite nice as a display for them. Now it's a case of what do I want to put in the other one? Not sure yet. Well, we'll just run it and let everybody go and look at the new display. It's pulling people up through the aquarium a lot more now. That's good. Let's have some tea while they do it. Mm. My padded benches, yes, very nice. Large chiller, that would be good. Guidebooks, oh, they would be good. Oh, choices, choices. Well, I've already got enough chillers on that pump. I could, I can make do without. Whereas a guidebook shelf will make a big difference to my prestige. Whereas the Queasel tank, I have nothing that um, needs to go in it yet. No jellies or anything. But there are jellies that I can research later. You notice with this design, I've not had any problems with expanding or anything like that. I just expand a section, put a wall there, off it goes. It's great. Next research, so I'll put some starfish in my cold water tank. Um, do I want balan rash yet? Or oh, moon jelly will have to go in a feasel tank, I don't have that done yet. Frilled anemone. Need light of five. Can I put lights onto a... Let's have a look. 
I don't think anything eats in enemies in, in this tank, so I think I could put them in there, but... Can I put lights onto this? No, you cannot. You cannot put lights onto a round tank. So that's I had a feeling that would be a, that would be the case. We may need a different shaped cold water tank somewhere. Put my frilled an enemy in. And if there's any particular um cold water fish that, that sort of don't really get on with the others, then we can put them in with the frilled an enemy. We've got a bull husk for sale. And I'll take up to 35. Hmm. Wade is leveled up. Oh, cool. Be better at feeding, Wade. Feeding becomes a problem, you see, so I need to just keep that going. Daisy Star Polyps. How many will I get, though, is the question. Because I've still got some space in with the Longhorn Cowfish. Three. Okay. That's caused that tank some major issues with filtration. I do have room for more filters though, so and also I don't have much in the way of protein skimmers on this side, so stick another one of those on. Yeah, that actually completely sorted it. Still got a little bit of an issue with people coming to see these tanks. Which I find a real shame. Maybe they do need to be moved forward a bit. Yay, filled an enemy. I can't put that in yet, though, unfortunately. Let's do the unicorn surgeon fish, because I've got a, a little um, task to do that. And they could go in the other side, actually. Yeah. That'd be good. Ah, oh, my cuckoo rats and stuff. I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? Two days with no feeding. I think I may, at this point, need to uh, hire someone else. Help with feeding. There, that's better. They should all get fed now. Yay! Okay, so we need to observe these unicorn surgeon fish once they've been got. Romeo has leveled up. When you level up, you're fixing a bit more. Like, cleaning doesn't really matter as long as they can do cleaning. Gift shop unlocked. Yes. Good, good. Getting some cool things for the, the people to do now. Um, double filter. I, we're, at this, we're at the point where I don't really mind too much what we're researching. They'll be useful later, but not right now. Okay. Guidebooks. A little guidebook supply in there. I'm going to put some guidebooks right by the door, I think. I like it to be symmetrical, so as you well know, I'll probably be putting a guidebook to either side. Well, that's suddenly dropping through the floor. Why is that then? The aquarium is untidy. Okay, so we need someone that can clean a bit more. Cleaner, cleaner, two cleaners. I don't understand why that dropped so drastically, but it might have been because it's the beginning of the day and things haven't been fed yet. Okay, I want a few things to go in with the... Your armoured, oh that's good. When fully grown, it will require a tank with at least 60. Oh, well, that's nice to know what it will require when it's fully grown. 
I'm thinking the angelfish will go in with the unicorn surgeon fish. Okay, but I will check that. My Atlantic bullock has grown! Yay! And it can eat tank mates up to size 6. Let's just double check that it doesn't have any tank mates of size 6, because these cuckoo-rasses haven't grown yet. Oh. Why did you guys have to grow first? Okay, it's going to grow to 11 in like one day. You're not armoured or anything, are you? No. No, no, no. Okay. So temporarily, I'm going to need to separate them. Which is rather annoying, but never mind. Uh, I will probably move them again later. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? That really didn't work very well. There we go. Gonna stick another power pump in here with cold water stuff around it. And then in one day's time when all the cuckoo rasses grow up to be like size 11, we can put them all back together again. They could be reunited. I didn't want that, I wanted the filter. Don't need a huge amount of filtration, which is quite nice. Probably gonna think that tank's a bit bare, but I'm gonna kind of need to decorate it for other fish late later on. So slowly growing back my reputation. Oh, I can't believe how like how much that went down overnight. Like just because the aquarium was a tiny bit untidy or something. I, I don't know. I put guidebooks in, and it was suddenly like, like we hate the aquarium. Like really. Slowly growing back though. I don't know exactly what we need to get to level 7, but it's fine. I've still got loads of stuff to research as well, so that's fine. Claire has leveled up. Be better at feeding, Claire. Everyone has to be good at feeding. So, bull husk for sale. Actually, if I had two cold water tanks, I could put him in one of them. Two of them. 35, they need 70 space. Well, I'll stick them in there for now. And uh, we'll probably move them around because what I'll probably want is to daisy chain the two tanks together. I don't like having a gap on both sides in the warm water tanks. Might put a nice tunnel tank or something next. Depending on what we get. Okay, they don't have enough filtration at the moment, so let's grab them another filter quickly. Really? Really, McReally? I'm gonna get rid of that and try a protein skimmer then. Yeah, that does it. Cool. We need supplements for the sharks as well. Which would be here. Supplement cabinet. Cockles and supplements and sand deals. I, w I want to ideally have the, the food needed for each particular thing behind it. Because they do run out. Cockles, mussels, sand, cockles, sand eels. 
Yeah, that's the ones. That way I know what's required for each tank. I mean, if it's something like they both need orange pellets, then you can sort of just put orange pellets behind. I don't know, because some of the big fish do need a lot. So, like, there will be times where I need two sand eel dispensers behind something just to feed it. We're going to need another tank soon. Okay, we are getting there with this now. Nice, nice, nice. Some more. Oh, Cuckoo Rass has grown. Verity has leveled up. Be good at feeding, Verity. Two size 11. Right, so one of my Cuckoo Rasses is going to get sold in return for that warm water shark. Which we'll need to find a place for. Do we have a tank big enough for a warm water shark? Double filter! A, a large chiller. And then we'll do the Queasel tank next. And I reckon the Queasel tank could maybe go somewhere around here. French angelfish! Let me do the... Uh, hmm. Maybe the striped box fish. You'll put that in with the shark, maybe. So I think it's time to do more tanks. And I'm wanting some tanks that are like maybe a lagoon tank, maybe a couple of observer tanks with a lagoon tank in the middle, something like that. These are back up to more like 100% now, which is kind of cool. That bin needs to move. Lots of zids. Well, the padded benches, um, I think that we've just unlocked as well, which maybe I could put one behind here and one behind there. That might be a quite nice little little resting area behind there. I think that's kind of made for padded benches really, isn't it? So let's see. Oh, there's no access. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Never mind. There we are, some nice padded benches. Some of my people that want to rest will hopefully hop down there. Sit on the padded benches because they're going to be much comfier. Let me think about this. So. I kind of am thinking that it might be quite nice to just move, just have four Belfast tanks maybe in a row down here and then and then move into a section of something else. Two cold water ones and two warm water ones. I don't know. Still trying to decide. Because I know that when I get to level seven, I'm going to get more stuff. But I'm nowhere near level seven at the moment, so... Stop thinking about that. I'm gonna need a new, definitely gonna need a new tank for that shark. Like, oh no, everything needs feeding. Okay, well, whatever, we need an expansion. And when we have an expansion, we expand everything. Or we try to. I might need another little bit more than that, actually. A little bit more. Put staff doors in recently, so I'll just put a whole, whole big section of walls in.
And what did I? Oh, I said I wanted. So we either get a couple of deep observer tanks and then put some kind of lagoon tank in the middle. Honestly, more on, more along the lines of wanting things that stick out into the middle at this point, though. So I'm going to do observer tanks. I'm going to do two big observer tanks. But they're going to be large ones this time. I'm going to pull them, like, way out. That big, I think. Big square ones, like that. Do I want two between it or do I want three? So when I move it, it shows me its uh, area of effect. As were, see? I could make a really narrow gap there. I could make it like three wide gap. I think I'm going to actually. I think I've changed my mind about how big I want the tank to be. So I want an observer tank that's at, at its maximum, basically. Oh no, that's not what I want. I want a deep observer tank. No! Get rid of these! We don't want any of these. We just want that, those, and that. Maximum! So this is what we've got next. Again, nice and symmetrical, because I like a bit of symmetry in my aquarium. There, and they can like walk through. So it'll be like a little kind of tunnel there. So it's actually quite nice. Quite nice, indeed. I do feel that a Creasel tank might be nice kind of in the centre there. Um, and we would move the drinks machines and things to maybe either side there. And keep the benches, maybe change those to padded benches facing in. And that would be quite nice. Quite a nice little area there. So we've got these massive tanks now. So what I want to do is to move this over here. So that we've actually got a proper cold water section. So that's our new warm water, uh, cold water tank. And I may be putting some uh, lights on there and putting some um, corals into it. And that means these guys. Ah, I need to move over here. And they will hopefully be happy. I'll move all of their dispensers as well. So wherever they go, their food goes with them. And now that's one thing I do want to do is to go around all the different ones and make sure the right food is behind their tanks. Because yes, it is a little bit wasteful money-wise, but you make a lot of money in this anyway. Um, so I think it's definitely more a thing that you... Time is of the essence. And you need to make it so that your guys can can get in there and feed things as quickly as possible. So actually doing that would be useful on a couple of them. So whatever direction they're coming from, they can get up onto the platforms as easily as possible. These ones are further forward, so they've got more room behind them, but um, these are still fine. They're still fine. I just can't put them right behind. I may need to move the wall back one. Move some of the pumps back and stuff. We'll see. 
shouldn't be strictly necessary. Okay, so now I've moved those guys, I can actually decorate their tank a bit more nicely. And like I say, I, I want to just see how these guys react to um, crustaceans, okay, and fish. So we don't need to worry too much uh, about whether they're going to eat polyps or not. So uh, Or anemones, I think it's anemones I want to put in. They're going to need a light of five, so let's... Uh, it might cost a bit to put a light on this tank, but I think it'll be kind of worth it. They don't need much in there either, so I've got lots of room for them. I always forget that it's under the pump menu that you've got the, the basic lights. Got some lights on the tank. Nice, very nice. And then we've got all the enemies. Which will give me nice science points. like four in there they apparently need to eat artemia which we do not have yet oh yeah we do now people aren't really making it up to this side of the aquarium though so much um, often happens when I open a new section up though they need something to bring them up here so probably it's time for more toilets and drinks and stuff like that in this next section up here. Maybe a little bit of painting and decorating as well. Okay, so on this side, we've got a couple of empty-ish tanks. One of which has got 100% of people looking at it. So it's like, well, I could really do with putting some stuff in there. So I would say let it's time to get our shark. So I'm going to just uh, pause it a second while we do that. I've got three Kukuras. Kukuras three. I would like to change you over for a shark. Still haven't managed the unicorn uh, thing. Oh, we get three of them. Good grief. And they grow to 16 each. Well, I've got a nice big tank for them to go in. So that's good. So I have everything I need. I've just got that unicorn observation thing to do. So what do they grow to again? Sorry, I'd forgotten that. So they will grow eventually up to 16. So 16, 32, 42 plus 6, 48 they're going to grow to. Yeah, my math is atrocious, I'm sorry. Um, so they're going to grow to 40, 48. And this tank is up to 70. So do we have room for four unicorn surgeon fish as well? So we've got 48, 22 left. Hmm, maybe not. Might need to put those in there. They grow to 18. So four of those is going to be almost 80. It's going to be 80 minus 8, 72 or something. How big is this? 120. Right, well, that'll be good for them, actually. We'll put a few other things in there if we need to, but uh, that's good. Four of you in there. We need 16 plant life. Well, we can make that look really interesting if we want. Good to have some stuff, actually, in here, though. Do you eat things, or are you pretty, pretty chill? Oh, they don't eat anything. Oh, that's good. So we can put other things in with them, and, and they'll just chill out. Nice. Right, so we need a platform behind. And again, I'll just stick stairs all around it so they can easily get up there. And then put everything they need, which is only green pellets apparently, behind there. Sand eels and sharky stuff. Supplements. So, sand eels, supplements. No, that's Artemia. I need green pellet. Green pellet dispenser. 
Wonderful. What's needed around here then? So the lionfish needs red mussels, which is nowhere near. Right, so they all need red mussels and, they, and all I've got there is like a stupid green pellet dispenser. I want them to have exactly what they need for the tank in there. So we need mussels there and zooplankton. Green pellet and mussels. Just put those slightly offset because otherwise they won't be able to... In fact, there's no reason to have that there. That's too cramped. It's too cramped to have it. So let's just take them away. So actually with those, the best thing to do would probably be to pop them to the side there. Oh, actually, that's exactly what we've already done. So, just move those away. So we've got those, those, that, and those, and that. Lovely. That's quite a complicated tank. It's got four different things they need. That's fine. Just orange pellets over here, I think. Is that all we need? Orange pellets and green pellets. Just making everything really nice and efficient, basically. What's needed here? Cockles. Which we have. Cockles. You didn't get fed yesterday, okay. I don't even know why I have the orange pellets over here. They're actually not required. It's all cockles. I will possibly um, put another cockle dispenser in because there are a lot of things down here that do need cockles. The second one might be useful. I'm also thinking if we're running out of uh, feeding staff, I may get an extra member of staff that can do feeding in. Yeah, two extra staff members that can do feeding. There are some really high level feeders as well, which is great. The sooner I get them into the aquarium and the longer they're working, the more likely they'll level up. Okay, so let's sort the uh, pumps out now. That's the next thing to do. Because they're all about to die because the pumps are so awful. I'm going to need a power pump there. Connected to that, and a power pump around here, connected to this one. And also... Oh, they don't reach. I'm far away. Is there okay? That one doesn't reach that one. You're gonna have to be really, really close to each other to be able to reach to properly daisy chain, or they're gonna have to be right by the wall, which I hate. Okay, cool. That's not so bad. Okay, so they're sharing with each other nicely there. So you've got these two tanks connected by daisy chaining. Um, they are both warm water tanks. Enough 
up yet. Right, they're warm enough with three. Fantastic. So I'll we'll stick some filters on. So maybe have protein skimmers and large filters and things like that. Two large filters, three large filters, a couple of protein skimmers. Oh, they're actually done. They're fine. No, are they? Yes, they're fine. Cool. Just need some rocks and stuff in there now. So I think it is rocks rather than hidey holes is one thing. Some rubble in there. That gives me five. Oh, it gets a bit difficult with these guys, actually. Right, a pitted column would give me four. Rubble gives me five. So that is the best one if we're just wanting rocks. I'm just going to have to cover the whole bottom of this in rocks. I'm going to try and make that a little bit asymmetrical. And I'll pop a couple of decorations in as well. So it doesn't look so ridiculously silly. Um, ancient gate ain't going to fit. That was a silly idea, wasn't it? They could have a barrel maybe in there? Somewhere? Have a barrel at the front? I like to have high, tall things at the back usually, but oh well, never mind. Want a pirate chest in there too? There you go. Awesome stuff. Oh no! Oops. Trying to move stuff around. Okay, so I actually I actually don't like the pirate chest there. No, oh, let me move it. Let me move that pirate chest. It won't let me move it. Because there's too much in the way there. Okay, cool. Actually no, there's not many places it can go. That sucks. I really don't like the barrel. Barrel looks stupid. Okay, that'll have to do for them. Oh, it's saying they've got no heat. What? You do have heat. All the heaters hooked up to their things. Why is that so... Oh, yes, I dared to move the tank by one square. And now everything's unhooked. Beware of this, people. It will kill your fish if you ever slightly move something. Beware that all the pumps will disconnect. There we go. Lovely. What about you guys? You need some plants in there, apparently, don't you? Still got about 40-odd room in there. So we could... Hmm. Stick some different stuff in there. They don't really compete with other things as well, so it's pretty pretty cool. Um, so these are the sharks, aren't they? We've got three sharks in there. They can go with other stuff. Like they're not too scary, actually. For you know, you think sharks are scary? They're not. And some of them are very small. So next, uh, what do I want to put in here with them? Anything? Anything we've researched yet that will go in with them that we haven't put in somewhere else? I tried to get everything in. Oh yes, the angelfish. That was the one. And the stripy boxfish, which will eat corals and stuff, but yeah. Okay, yeah, that looks good. We don't have starfish in anywhere. Starfish can go in with the sharks, I think. I don't think they're a danger. Okay, that's a good that's a good start then. So some box fish. Maybe a few of them. This is a big tank. And uh, we're gonna have the angel fish, which goes up to ten. So that's actually reasonably large. So we had forty space in there. We've used up about twelve of it. So we can have maybe about another three of these guys. Maybe two. I'll put two in just in case. Oh, that's a nice tank. I like this one. A little boxy fish in there. Yeah. It's cool. That needs more decorating, definitely, though. Now, that's just for me. 
No, it's not even for the guests. It's just for me. I just want decorations everywhere. Bit of feather clooper at the front, I think. And then maybe some kelp at the back and eel grass, maybe. A couple of sea lettuces around as well. The one here and here. Oh, I'm liking this one. No, eelgrass doesn't go with the rest of this stuff. I need four more of something, so maybe some more feather calupera. We've got eelgrass elsewhere in the aquarium, so it's fine. There's my 24, and I want maybe, maybe a, a rock or two. Come on. You can do it. And then a couple of shells, that sort of thing. Ancient gate, will that fit in there? Oh, it will. Nice. I would say that way around. That is a really nice tank. I like that one now. Okay, so we do need a bit more filtration around here, apparently. Well, we've got plenty of room to put filters. Uh, we don't have any protein skimmers on there yet, so let's do that. Funky monkey! Yay! That's my favourite ice cream flavour. No, it's not at all. My favourite ice cream flavour is fish food. Okay, let's go. We'll get some money for those uh, surgeon fish being in there. And while that's running, I'm going to do a bit of decorating, a bit of painting. We'll do a bit of painting. Shipwreck paint, wasn't it? So we'll paint the floor a bit. Oh, yay! Weasel tank. Yay, new rank! Rank seven. All these things. Oh, we're at the point that I like to be at now where you get the the big eels and the crabs and the um and the horse eye jacks and the tunnel tanks and cannons and microphones and do talks and stuff. This is a this is a good point to be at. I like this point. Okay, so I may need to move the tanks around to properly paint under them. Yay! Unicorn Surgeon Fish is done. Am I interested in some southern stingray? I might be. Would you like to trade for them? I am interested in fully grown moon jellies. Well, we'd better uh, get those research done, hadn't we, in the quiesel tanks? Oh, it's probably because I started researching the quiesel tank that that's actually come up. Moon jelly then, I guess. We can start that study. Uh, I'm trying to decorate here, though. Keep coming up with different things. You've got 100% of people going up there now, but we need something more to attract them up here. I did say that we need a bit more food and stuff up here. Well, we'll work on that in a minute. I'm just going to do a bit more shipwreck painting. I don't know whether this increases my prestige, like, doing the painting, but I like to have the, the guest area looking a bit different to the rest of it. I think a few um, like palm trees and stuff around the place might be quite nice as well. I'm now starting to get decorations that I can put around the actual aquarium as well as in just in the tanks, you know. We're getting everyone fed each day at the moment. I'm hoping we are, but I haven't actually checked. It's nice to check all the tanks at the turn of the day just to see how things are going. Look at their waggly tails. Moon jellies have been unlocked. So we've got rank five fishes as well. Humpback snappers and coral beauties. Let's just go do those. They'll be quick now because the, the aquarium is expanding. Whoa. What is wrong with you guys? Uh, why can't I click on the tank? Still in paint mode or something probably. Why are you unhappy? You've not been fed a sponge pellet in two days because I forgot to put your feeding thing down. Oh, well, that's terrible of me. I'm so sorry. Uh, someone better come and feed them quick. 
No, don't feed all the green pellets. Do the purple pellets. There we are. Now you're not going to die anymore. Oh, phew. Resort tank. Nice. Oh, yay. Coffee machines and balloon shelves and things. They will help massively. I think... Coffee machine. First... No, I don't think all the feeding's getting done each day at the moment. I'm just going to have a look, but I don't think it is. Oh, Coral Beauty's been unlocked. Nice. Hire someone else that can do feeding. You 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 can do feeding. There's no reason for me not to just hire everybody, is there? You know what? See how they do. I might start losing money. Doubt it, though. Probably if it was on hard difficulty, yes. So we've got some uh, level ups. We've got the bull husks that have grown. To 21 all of a sudden. Wow. They can eat tank mates up to size 8. I think they went on their own, but I might need to double check that. Be better at feeding. Be better at feeding be better at cleaning. Mm. Do the balance mass first. Okay, so there was something that I needed to check. Oh yes, the fact that the bull husks had grown really big. Well, these guys are 16, so I think we're all right with them being able to eat up to a size. Oh, it's crustaceans anyway. It always says tank mate, so you never know exactly what it is that they're about to just eat. Um, so I had an idea that I wanted to move these out of the way. Chocolate machine and the soda machine over to the edges a bit. You haven't gone through the wall, have you? No. Sometimes you knock people through the wall and it causes issues with prestige. Anything that they're not liking? There aren't enough bins and the aquarium is a little bit untidy. Okay, I've just hired a whole load of new people. So that should help with that. Oh, good grief. I've just realised I've been going for like an hour on this episode. Oh, no. I may need to split this one in two. We'll see. Maybe it could be a really long episode, but I think I am going to... Because of that, I'm going to have to quit here and I will put the bins in next time. We'll get some more bins into the aquarium next time. But I've been having such an awesome, fun time making my cool aquarium. And we are now up to level 7, which is really, really good. We've got all the way to level 12 to go, so I might just stick it up as a long episode, because you know what? You guys deserve it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe, and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves, and keep being awesome.